Okay, I'm going to give you the crash course in replacing the steering column. The steering went out on this. It's a Troy built 7 speed pony with 42 inch deck. It's a 2008. The reason I know that is because if you take the seat up, you can look here. There's a sticker, there's a serial number right there, and there's an 08 in there, and that's your year. These are the tools you're going to need to do the job right here. You're going to need a flashlight, vice grip, a large Phillips head screwdriver, and then a 13 millimeter socket and a 3/8 socket and an extension. I didn't even need this. I was able to do it by hand just with with these connected, this extension and the sockets. You're also going to need a ratchet strap. The ratchet strap is to hold your steering wheel on. I just put the ratchet strap through here, went around to the back of the tractor, hooked it down into these two holes, or one hole here, two two sides of the strap, tightened it up, holds the steering wheel straight. Okay, you're not going to do that right away. Eventually, you'll get them in here that everybody tells you you have to have a screwdriver. This pops out by hand. You just take that right out. And this, this here is the 13 millimeter. That goes in there, and that, pop, that just turns. It comes out. The 3 8 you're going to have to take this portion off here eventually. You're not going to do this first, but I'm just showing you real quick. There's some screws under there. There's three of them. One, two, three. I, I was able to turn them out by hand once I once I put the socket on there with the extension. Um, the here is the shaft right here that had to be replaced. As you can see, the teeth were worn out, and the steering would not it would not start turn correctly. It had no control over it. This bushing was the one I replaced. This is uh, about five six bucks, and this and the steering column was thirty five. I bought it right from Troy Built on their website. You can call them online, do the same thing. Eventually, when you go to do this job, just to show you, you're going to have to take out a screw that is a Phillips head screw. It's pretty big, and that's why I got a big one. But it will not. I could not get to unturn with this just this. So I started it with the vice grip. Let's take a quick look at where that is. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Sorry for the shaky movement. So I'm just getting you through this and telling you a bunch of stuff to get to the chase. Cut to the chase because a lot of people tell you you have to drop the deck. You do not have to drop the deck. A lot of people will tell you you have to take these screws out so you can tilt the gas can forward. I did not do any of that. I just dropped the deck to the lowest portion, but I did not de disconnect the deck. There's no reason to do that. So just drop the deck to the lowest possible setting and you can get in there. This is the hardest part right here. This screw on the bottom of that shaft that where we showed you that shaft that comes down in there. Well, that screw is right here. And if you can see it, it's a Phillips screw. There it is. Right there. What I did was I put the vice grip on there with the handle part of the vice grip facing back towards the tractor underneath here. So we're underneath there. That's the best way to get it. You clip it on, and then you have a little pull to start backing that thing out. Once I got it going, I just used the Phillips. Once you get that out, like I said, you're going to pop this off. You're going to have to take that out, these out, these three screws, and then this whole thing comes up with the steering column attached to it. Your steering wheel pulls out, and we'll come out. Just like this, all the way up. When when you get it out, it's going to have this type of, um, they're kind of like gears holding the steering wheel on right there. Once you back that screw out, it's still going to be on there. You probably have to put it down on the ground. I did. And then I put my foot on it and just pulled it out. Put the new one in, straighten my tires out just like that, just straight forward. I put the shaft right down back in there, attached to the steering wheel obviously and it fit perfectly right inside these gears here and the gears it goes in is right there as you can see the gears in the bushing that i replaced is also right there you can see that that's the gear that's the bushing and then once that's in there you take make sure that when you put that steering column in there it sits on the new bushing that you got or the new hex nut you get it goes on 
on the down on the body of the tractor, the hex part. You'll, you'll see how it fits in there. It's shaped like that, the hole. And then your rod goes in to that hex nut. That's, that's usually what goes. Mine didn't look too bad, but I went ahead and replaced it anyways. Once the rod's sitting in there, connected to the gear, you reach underneath there, you screw your that Phillips screw back in, and then, of course, you're going to have to get it tight. And then, of course, you just do the reverse and with all the screws, putting the uh, three bolts back here, bolt back here, you pop this back on, boom, pops right in. You're done. Fixed. No problems. Like I said, you don't need to do the detachment of the deck or taking off the gas tanks. Not necessary. I just finished doing that. Now, that goes for the 2008. I can't speak for other models. But this is going to run you about 40 bucks, just under 40 bucks to get this done, to do it yourself. And the job took me, first time I did it, just under an hour. The hardest part was that Phillips screwdriver. I did, I did jack up the back of the tractor a little bit as well. Um, I, yeah, I probably didn't need to, but I did do it. Anyways, I hope this helps you out. Thanks.